What did you get today? Today we have a early 1960s airline TV set that we actually scored out of an abandoned house. I think it's probably been sitting there for 30 years. Covered in dust and dirt and cobwebs and everything else, and we are going to see if it, uh, if it actually turns on. Bobby. Before you get started on that, we need to give you some information about your new TV set. What's that? Your new airline portable television with its attractive slimline briefcase styling is designed for more viewing pleasure and the compact rectangular 19-inch aluminized picture tube gives a brighter and clearer picture. Oh. Plus rich contrast between black and white shades, only 37 pounds light. This is set easily moved from place to place with its hand-fitted carrying candle. Seems very convenient to me. It does. Extremely convenient. I'm sold. So, Bobby. You need to place it in a location where sunlight won't hit it, the, the, the picture tube. We're pretty safe here. The window's right there. The sun goes this way. All right. Now, before you're warned, we cannot use DC volts with this. Oh, darn. I a thought I could use some DC on it. AC only, I'm afraid, Bobby. That's true. Okay. See if this fucker works. How do you turn the TV on, narrator? Well, you need to hold. You need to turn the power knob counterclockwise until you hear it click. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright. Well, no truth. It's gonna work or it's gonna blow up my face. One of the two. Very act begins. The motor goes. The motor's manual's falling apart. There she goes. Now. Remember to give it 30 seconds to warm up before you rule her out, Bobby. 90 volts. You got lights. Tubes are going to start to light up. It's 110. It's all the way up. Well, you're crackling. We have static. I can hear the thing trying to go. Remember, 30 seconds. I can hear the UHF like it's trying to work. All the tubes are lit. There's a brightness. It's trying to work, but no picture tubes. We probably gotta go inside and see what uh, if there's any blown tubes. No sizzling, no smoking. Got about 20 tubes in there, but it's just something back. It's trying to work. But we did power it up safely. Um, no smoke, no buzz, no hum. All the tubes load up, and we have audio. So now we gotta find out why there's not any sound or no, no video. Which we'll probably be able to figure that out. So join us next time, and we'll uh, go through the uh, the rest of it. Well, keep in mind, Bobby, that you do have a 90-day service replacement. Excellent. I'll take this back to my local Montgomery Ward Service Center and ask them to replace a few tubes for me. Customer service number one.